But we're from Michigan, so we have to talk about this. The shooting at Michigan State. Michigan State. Yep. Now, I want to I wanna go on the record here. All right. So I've watched a lot of this stuff um, all day today. And I have they've interviewed quite a few people on campus, and they're blaming the guns. Of course. A gun is a tool, just like yeah. a car. All right. Are they... They want to ban cars because some, you know, douchebag decides to drive through a crowd of people. Mm-hmm. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, that uh, it's funny how that subject never came up after yeah. Waukesha. But then again, the uh, Waukesha massacre engineer and the guy who shot up Michigan State have one thing in common. Yep, and and that- that's why it took me eleven articles to find someone who would actually post a picture. Of the gunman. Yep. And that's the only way he is referred to. Can you guess why? Yeah, because uh, he's... Uh, there he is. There he is right there. That's why the mainstream media is only going to refer to him as the gunman. That's right. Because what we have here is a case of a narrative smashing event. Unfortunately, we have three people dead, five more in critical condition, and... Uh-huh. As it turns out, the one on the right was a good friend of my niece. So uh, it's close to home. It's pretty close to home. All right. Now, if you go back and you look through history, I know I keep bringing up history. But prior to like 1970, shit like this didn't happen. Okay. Or it happened very seldom. I wonder what happened in the late 60s and that could have led us down this path. No-fault divorce. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah WIC Welfare Section 8. They broke the family, and virtually all of these crazy gunman uh, rampages are from products from the broken home. Yep. 85% of the people in prison did not have a father at home. Correct. So, you know, we got to keep doing that, right? Yeah, but, you know, we Stunning need to get brain. to the root of the problem, which is bringing back the nuclear family or at least allowing both parents equal time to the child. But they won't talk about that because no. the em- the FNists out there are like, oh, no, no, that's that we're not going backwards. Yeah, the FNists don't want to go backwards, and the people who have been milking your Social Security dry – but it'll totally be there when you're 65. Correct. They want to keep that gravy train moving. Yeah. Because bureaucracy makes it easier to embezzle taxpayer money. Yeah, I couldn't have said it any better. It's redonkulous. Yep. It's quite redonkulous. That's why we're talking about it. So we're going to raise a glass to these three young people here. Um, Alexandria Werner of Clawson, Michigan. Mm-hmm. And then we have here Brian Frazier from Gross Point. Uh, and Ariel Diamond Anderson. And the five ones, the five additional that are injured are in critical condition. Yeah. So uh, as a betting man, I would bet at a minimum of one, if not two more. Yeah, maybe. Only time will tell. Yeah, and listen, uh, the security on Michigan State is non-existent. Yeah. Um, when I used to hang out there years in the early 90s when I got off active duty, it was a free-for-all. It was absolutely insane. And uh, it, I don't really don't find it that far of a stretch that an individual walked onto campus and did what he did. No, no. There, there's. <laughs> I remember when I dated a chick who went there. Uh, just walk right in. Yep. No big deal. Yeah. And now listen. Um, it's a gun-free zone. Yeah, it's a gun-free zone. Easy and the, and the 43-year-old uh, dude who walked in there was not allowed to own a firearm that's right he's what a convicted felon or something i believe so yes and that was as early as 2019 yeah 2019 i believe was when the initial charge was uh yep an incident june 7th 2019 busted with a loaded weapon near an abandoned building uh michigan michigan department of correction said and yep charged with possession of a loaded firearm after he was found to be carrying the gun without a concealed weapons permit so not like a fantastic charge or anything by any means but it was enough to put him on the radar of the corrections department yep 
I don't know, man. So like I said, it's a narrative smasher. He's the wrong color, and he was already legally not allowed to own a firearm. So uh, it's going to be hilarious watching our duly re-elected Governor Stretch and Gretchen try to twist this with her mental gymnastics into a white supreme pizza gun control argument, because I guarantee you she's going to try. Yep. I, I, I would definitely bet on that. Yep. Although, thankfully, because of the Bruin decision, we're seeing a lot of these, you know, real f- deep blue states, or at least, you know, y- well, let's be honest. Most of these deep blue states are red states with, like, three blue counties. Yep, and the reason the uh, Democrats want to do away with the guns is because they want to keep control yep. from their, uh, you know, basically fortresses of solitude in their bright red counties or w- blue counties or cities. Yep. And screw everyone else over. Yep. It's not our fault that th- these blue cities are living uh, with no sense of reality. Uh, they, they All they do is they brainwash these people and they keep voting for more of the same. Yep. I mean, Baltimore, Maryland, they couldn't find, well, they found one person in the entire school district that could do college level algebra in 12th grade. One. One. All right. That, I mean, listen, with an education system like that, they are pumping out nothing but cannon fodder idiots. Wow. Are we shocked we have this stuff going on? I'm not. And it's going to get worse. Oh, yeah. In my opinion. It's going to get far, far worse. Thankfully, though, like I was saying, because of the Bruin decision, even these deep blue states trying to pass these bullshit gun grabs, all of them are getting injuncted and overturned. Well, let's hope let's hope it keeps going. Well, because Bruin basically undid Crookshank, and prior to Crookshank, there was no gun control period because we actually looked at the Constitution as more than a piece of paper that the leftoids can wipe their ass with. Yeah, and, you know, um, the Democrats and a lot of people on the left have gone on the record saying that the Constitution should be done away with. Yep. The minute you do that, I guarantee you they're going to try to make us like China. Mm-hmm. It's going to require concentration camps, bread lines. Yep. It's going to be bad. Well, we've seen these World Economic Forum fuckheads like Trudeau and even Biden saying that China is the model. <laughs> okay. We know exactly what that means. Uh, that means that they've basically broke the will of all their citizens. Yep. They keep them poor. So they, you know, they have no choice but to get on the hamster wheel and run, baby, run, or you're gonna die. Or yep. So, yeah. Bad news bears, baby. Bad news bears. And there is no free ride. No. You know, like people out. I mean, we have uh, Gen Zers. I was just watching a video about one Gen Z. It's like I can't believe that I'm gonna have to work for the rest of my life Where? just to eat and have my basic necessities. It's called being an adult. Uh, how about this? It's called being on the earth. Yeah. I'm sure there are lots of lions out there would love to have food dropped off at their doorstep that they don't have to do crap to get. But no, (laughs) they got to get up at the fucking butt crack of dawn, run their asses off, risk their lives to bring down another animal, which they're really only 30% successful at doing, just to eat and survive. Mm -hmm. Everyone here on the planet has to do that in some shape or form either in the beginning part of your life or at the end. If you're smart, you put in the work, you save up for your retirement, you do everything you need to do so the second half of your life isn't so bad. If you have to if you don't do that in the beginning, you're going to get royally screwed by reality when you're old, slow and walking around in pain. Yep. And the people who, you know, sign on to this whole, you know, utopian experiment ideology, like we need to burn it all down and start fresh, they're stupid enough to think that their quality of life won't be affected. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> Listen. Oh, everything will stay the same, right? I'll still have Netflix and porn on my phone, right? Right? Wrong. Uh, uh, this is, the minute the two-way rifle range heats up, you know, the supply chain that's keeping everyone with their cigarettes and beer is going to go away. Yeah. And then you're not going to have food water, butt wipe, you know, you're not going to be able to heat your house, electricity will probably go down. It's going to that's that's a recipe for disaster right there. Yes it is. And a lot of these individuals, I imagine after 2 years of the consequences of what they brought will be singing a completely different tune mm. if they survive. And right now the tune they're singing is guns bad. 
Yeah. But not no. the politicians I vote for who who agree with me that guns are bad, but routinely surround themselves with armed security. Yeah, they put up fences, barriers, and have people with guns to protect them. Yep. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.